I said, Merry Christmas, Uncle. May God save you. Bah, Uncle. Christmas a humbug. Uncle, surely you don't mean that. Of course I mean it. Merry Christmas indeed. What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough. Come, Uncle. What reason have you to be dismal? You're rich enough. Away uh, with Merry Christmas. What's Christmas to you but a day for paying bills without any money?
die, perhaps they should go ahead and do it and decrease the surplus population. Now, I have far too much of my own business to want to interfere in anyone else's. Mine occupies me constantly. I'll thank you for the evening to it, gentlemen. Good afternoon.
much. Who are you? Ask me who I was. Second, 
upon the next night at the same hour. Expect the third upon the next night when the last group of twelve has ceased to vibrate. Look to see me no more. Your sister was a frail creature, and often ill, but she had a large heart. Indeed she had. She was as beautiful on the inside as she was on the outside. Take me away from this spirit. Your sister died a young woman, but she did have a child, as I recall. <coughs> yes, a son. My nephew, his name is Fred. Your nephew, Ebenezer. The only family you have left. Yes, that is true. You must spend a lot of time together. No, we don't talk. I know. Do you think Fan would have wanted that? No, not at all. What a shame. Everybody loses. Come along, Ebenezer. It is time to see another Christmas. Do you know this place? No, it's...
your people feel so much gratitude and joy. That's four of them. Is it not? After all, what did he do this Fezziwig? Spent a few pounds on a party. Does he deserve such praise as this? Yeah, no, it isn't that spirit. Mr. Fezziwig has the power to make us happy or unhappy. He can make our work pleasant or miserable just by the way he looks at us or the way he addresses us. A thousand such little things add up until the happiness he gives us is as great as if it cost a fortune. Yes, tell me, Ebenezer, when was the last time you spent even a penny to create a bit of joy? Well, uh, there was... Yes, it's been so long that you can't even remember. All those moments of joy lost forever. Tell me, who was that lady you were with? Take me away from here, spirit. Why? It's your past. Because I made the greatest mistake of my life here and I don't want to be reminded of it. Thank you very much. You are on this journey for a reason. What's the matter? You think you can just ignore the past? Live with it, Ebenezer. Let's take a look at another time, shall we? Spirits show me no more. The dark be out. Why do you enjoy torturing me like this? I told you. These are merely shadows of things that have been, that they are what they are. Do not blame me. Take me home, Spirit. I can bear it no more. No more. <laughs> Uh, 
seek to cramp these people's opportunities of innocent enjoyment. I? Well, you would deprive them of their means of dining every seventh day when the markets are closed. Uh, the only day in which it can be said they dine at all. I? Well, you seek to close these places on the seventh day. It amounts to the same thing. I seek? Well, forgive me if I'm wrong, but it is done in your name. Or at least in the name of your family. There are some upon this earth of yours who claim to know us, who do their deeds of passion, pride, ill will, hatred, envy, bigotry, and selfishness in our name. These so called men of the cloth are as strange to us and all our kith and kin as if they had never lived. Remember that! And charge their doings on them, not us. Shadows remain unaltered by the future. The child will die. No, it cannot be. Say he will be spared. Should these shadows remain unaltered by the future, none other of my race will find him here. But what does it matter? If he is likely to die, then let him die and decrease the surplus population. 
use my own words against me. Yes, so that perhaps in the future you will learn to hold your tongue. Who are you to decide who shall live and who shall die? It may be that in the light of heaven you are more worthless and less fit to live than millions like this poor man's child. And now, my dear ones, a toast. I give you Mr. Scrooge, the founder of our feast. Oh, the founder of our feast, indeed. I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind to feast on and hope he'd have a good appetite for it. My dear, the children, Christmas Day. It should be Christmas Day when one would drink to the elf of such an odious, stingy, hard, unfeeling man as Ebenezer Scrooge. And no one knows it better than you do, Bob. My dear. Written a word, doom! 
unless the writing be erased. I dare you to deny it. I dare you to slander those who claim otherwise and see where it leads. Have they no refuge or resource? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Thank you. 
wife's dead. Well, I put it on him to be buried in, to be sure.
I went by that today. That's why I'm late. Wish you could have been there. Would have done you good to see how green it is. I'm sorry, Bob, I can't. It's too But you'll see it often. I promised him I walked by there every Sunday. To visit him, you see. Why did he have to die? Why? I'm sure none of us will ever forget. Poor Tiny Tim, shall we? No, Father, we shan't. And I know as well, my dears, that when we remember how, how patient and mild he was, although he was only a little, little child, we shall not quarrel among ourselves. No, Mother, never. Ah, I feel like dancing. 
spirits have done it all in one night. Well, of course they can do anything they want. Hello, boys! Oh, I, I mean, girls. Uh, uh, hello. Do you know the poulter are in the next street but one at the corner? I sure do. Ah, clever girls, yes. Uh, do you know if they have the, if the, if the prize turkey they've had hanging there is still there? What? In the window? What as big as me and me? Yes! Ah, not as big as you, my girls. It's hanging there now. Is it? Yeah. Well, you must go and buy it. Go and buy it now. Do yesterday. 
do beg your forgiveness. And yours too, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, and if you would, uh, sir. Uh, don't forgive me. <laughs> oh, nothing. My dear Mrs. Scrooge, are you quite sure? Absolutely, my dear sir. And not a farthing less. I don't know what to say, sir. Say nothing, sir. There are a great many back payments included in it. Ah. 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 Gentlemen, you will do me that favor? It will be a pleasure, sir. Ah, thank you. Now, gentlemen, you must come and see me more often. We right? will. We will. We'll sit down and discuss how we can help you. Oh, thank you, sir. Very, very good. Very good. Let me try your drink,
What do you mean by coming in at this hour? I'm very sorry, sir. I'm behind my time. Step this way, if you please, Mr. Cratchit. It's only once a year, sir. It shall not be repeated. I was making rather merry with my family, you see. We had this enormous turkey delivered in, and... Well, let me tell you, Mr. Cratchit. I'm not going to stand for it any longer. Therefore, and therefore, I'm going to double your salary, Bob. Yes, I'm going to double your salary. Merry Christmas, Bob. <laughs>